Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can both send and receive text messages directly within Microsoft Outlook. I'll also show you how you can receive a text message when you receive an important email. Let's say your boss sends you an email. You can get a text message notifying you about that right away. Then at the end, I'll also show you how you can send out group text messages also directly within Microsoft Outlook. All right, let's check these out. To send a text message in Microsoft Outlook, it's actually easier than you would imagine. Within Microsoft Outlook, go to the top left-hand corner and then click on New Email. This opens up a new email message, and to send a text message right up here in the To field, instead of typing in an email address, we're going to type in a phone number. And here I'll type in my phone number, just your standard 10-digit phone number. If you wanna give me a call, feel free to give me a ring. Once you type in the phone number, you also have to append a gateway domain. And if that doesn't make any sense at all, don't worry, it's actually not as complicated as it sounds. To find the gateway domain, let's look down at the table down below. Here I've listed out some of the most popular carriers in the United States. If, let's say you're outside of the United States, I've also included a link in the description down below that lists out the thousands of different carriers throughout the world and the associated gateway domains. This number up above, this is a, let's say a T-Mobile phone number. So right here, I would go down and here I find T-Mobile as one of the carriers. And then I have these two additional columns. One of them says SMS gateway domain and the other one says MMS gateway domain. So what's the difference and which one should you choose? Well, with T-Mobile, the gateway is exactly the same across the two of them. So you could just use that and you're pretty much good to go. But when you look at some of these other carriers, they do have different domains. So which one should you use? If the person that you're sending this text message to has a data plan, well, then they have support for MMS. So I would recommend going with this. With MMS, you could send longer messages and it also has multimedia support. So let's say you wanna send a picture, you can do that. If the person that you're sending the text message to does not have a data plan, you can still send them a standard text message. You can't send multimedia. It also has a 160 character limit, but this will still work regardless of whether or not someone has a data plan. Hopefully that helps you find your carrier and the associated gateway domain. The one tricky thing is when you send out text messages, you'll just have to know what carrier the person is with who you're sending the text message to. Okay, with that out of the way, simply come in here and then copy the gateway domain. Here, I'll copy that and then append it or paste it after the phone number up above. Once you fill in the gateway domain, you can fill this out just like a standard email message. Here for the subject, I'm going to ask, what cookie is your favorite? And let me remove the body down here and I'll type in some text. Here I typed in a little bit of text and I also included an image as well. I'm going to send this as an MMS message. My message is all ready to go now and in the top left hand corner, just like when you send an email, simply click on send. Here now I can see that the message has arrived on my phone and here I have the subject in bold. I also have the body of the message and here I can see the photo. And right down here I can type in a response. And here let's click on send. And here back within Outlook, I can now see the response to the text message. I can now have a conversation back and forth with this phone number. As a quick tip, if you don't know someone's carrier, you can have them text your email address. Once you receive the message in Outlook, not only will you get the phone number, but you'll also get the associated carrier and the gateway domain. This is all well and good, but who actually remembers phone numbers these days? Next, I wanna show you how you can create a contact to make it even easier to text someone in the future once you have their number and you have their carrier. Within Outlook, in the bottom left-hand corner, click on Contacts. Within Contacts, in the top left-hand corner, let's click on New Contact. This opens up a screen where I can add a new contact. Right up here, I wanna add a contact for Cookie Monster. So I'll type in Cookie Monster, and then I wanna differentiate this from the standard Cookie Monster email address. So I'll type in Cookie Monster text. Right down here where I need to type in the email address, I'll type in the same phone number format as what we used before. Next, I'll click on Save and Close. 
I've now opened up a new email message and here in the to field, instead of typing in that complicated phone number, I can simply type in my contact, Cookie Monster Text. And here it pops up and it already has the phone number associated with it. So this will now send Cookie Monster a text message. Along with setting up just an individual contact, you can also set up a group of contacts. So let's say you wanna quickly text, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 people at once. You can do that as well. Once again, let's go down to the bottom left-hand corner and let's click on contacts. Within contacts in the top left-hand corner, let's click on new contact group. On this next screen, we can now set up our group. Right up on top, you can add members. Click on add members and right down here, you can add a new email contact. Within this prompt, you can now add a member name. Once again, I'll add cookie monster text and right down below, once again, I'll type in that same email address. Next, I'll click on OK. Here you'll see that I've added my first member to this group. I'll go through and add a few more members. Now that I've added a few different members to my group, I can give my group a name. And here I'll call this Cookie Fans. Now that I've typed in a name for this group, I'll save and close. I now have a new email message open. And if I wanna send out a text message to everyone within that group, right up here in the to field, I can type in cookie fans. Here I see that contact group. And now when I send this message, everyone will get a text. Now, so far as we've been going through this, if anyone responds to your message that you send from Outlook, it'll simply go back to your email address. But let's say on the other hand, you want them to respond, but you want it to go to your phone number instead. Within a message here, let's go to the top tabs up on top, click on options. And over on the right hand side, you can change where we direct replies to. Let's click on this. This opens up a prompt and right down near the bottom, you can decide where you want replies sent to. And by default, replies simply go right back to your email address. But if you wanna say get a text instead, here too, we can paste in that phone number with the gateway and then click on close. This way, anytime someone responds, you'll get a text message. Lastly, I wanna show you how you can get a text message anytime an important email arrives in your inbox. Here, I received a message from Nestor, and he's one of my esteemed coworkers. Anytime he emails me, I wanna make sure that I'm aware of this. You could also use it for, let's say your manager, or maybe your skip level, or maybe the president of your company reaches out to you and you wanna know about it right away. To set this up, I'm going to select Nestor's message and I wanna set up a rule. If you're interested in learning all about rules, I've included a link to an introductory video in the description down below. Here I'll click on rules and then I'll select new rule. This opens up a prompt where I can create my rule. And let's say that every time Nestor emails me, I also wanna get a text message. Right up here, I'll select from Nestor Wilk. Right down below in the bottom right hand corner, let's click on advanced options. This opens up the rules wizard and I'll just leave it as a really simple condition. Keep in mind that you could come in here and you could set all sorts of different filters and criteria. I'll click on next. On this next screen, I can define what happens when I get a message from Nestor. And right down here, there's the option to forward it to people or a public group. Let's select this. And right down below, I can click on people and then I can indicate who I want it to forward to. And once again, just like we've been doing all along, type in that phone number format with the gateway domain. Once you type that in, click on OK. You can now see that it'll forward it to this phone number. Next, let's click on finish. Now, every time I get an email from Nestor, it'll also send me a text message on my phone. I'm now in Nestor's view and he's gonna send me an email. And here now I can see that important message from Nestor directly on my phone. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, were you able to successfully send out a text message? To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.